Hello, my name is Peter Hudson. I'm a professor at Penn State. I'm also conservation director at Pulse Trails. What I want to talk to you about today is spillover, the movement of viruses from bats to humans and why this is actually taking place. My expertise over the last 30, 40 years has been studying the dynamics of infectious disease in wildlife, how diseases move through animals and then they get exposed to human beings. So recent outbreaks of diseases such as the pandemic we're currently going through at the moment, known as COVID-19 and caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2, is a virus that came from bats. We know this and all these other ideas that 5G or um, other factors had caused this are total nutter bunkum. This is not true. This is a bat-derived virus. One of the issues we must address is why is this taking place now? And our very detailed research that we've been undertaking in Eastern Australia on the virus called Hendra virus has shown us that what is taking place is that we are destroying the forests of Eastern Australia. We've removed the critical habitat the bats need during the winter months. As a consequence of this, the bats are starving to death they move into urban areas and because they're stressed and because they're starving, they start shedding viruses. And these viruses then get into our livestock and sometimes directly into our cells and cause very significant mortality. What can we do to try and stop this? Well, the one thing we must not do is we must not reduce biodiversity any further. So the whole idea of going out there and killing bats is going to be, make things much worse for us in the longer term. What we need to do is we need to rewild and replant the native forests the way the bats want their food. We need to be put back the trees and the flowers and the insects that these bats actually want. So the message I have for you today is let's help human health. Let's get human health better by planting trees, by living closer and better with our wildlife. Let's make sure that our wildlife has the food and the habitat they need and in that ways save human health. Thank you very much for listening.